YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Taylorette. And I'm going to show you how I designed my own Civil War ball gowns. First step is to choose your fabric. I have a huge stash. So I ended up going with a bunch of saris. I went with these, the peach color and the mint color. And next move was to look at ideas on Pinterest. I really like the neckline on this. However, I thought I could use this basic bodice design and find a pattern just like that and go from there and use that as my base to design. I ended up using this laughing move pattern, see link below where you can purchase this, but this had that basic design that I was looking for. There's a reason why this package is ripped is because I use it so much. None of the sizes have ever turned out completely off for me. With that in mind, I'm pulling out my pieces. I already have the pieces traced on another material and I'm going to use that. This is the side front. There will be two of them. However, I don't want it to be cut in the front. So instead, I'm going to cut the center front line on the fold and make it one. Normally, I would cut the back piece on the fold, but I'm actually going to cut it into two pieces and add extra seam allowance. And then that way, my opening will be in the back. And that is how the dress will be put on. Here we go. I'm going to cut this bodice. The bodice is going to be cut out of this fabric. And I decided that this is going to be the skirt. First, I'm going to cut all those pieces in a basic white cotton, and I will show you in a minute why I do that. Here is the fold of the fabric, and I'm going to put it the line of the center front on the fold. I will proceed to pin it and then cut it. And there are these darts here, so I'm going to mark these darts. Then you will take the back pieces and cut those out. And here I'm marking an extra seam allowance on the back of the bodice so that I can actually have it separate. And I'm taking those pieces to my actual fabric and just cutting them out and using that as a pattern guide for both the front and the back. And here I'm folding the front piece and cutting it out. And I'm laying out my lining and adding the fabric on top and I'm pressing them together and then after that, I plan on pinning it. So I pinned it, doing that to the back pieces as well, pinning it, and then I take it to the machine and stitch it a quarter inch away from the edge on all pieces. I'm not sure if you can see. I did not show this part, but I did side seams, and here I'm pressing it and adding a cloth on top so it doesn't melt the material because some sorry material doesn't hold up very well. So now I have this on the mannequin and I pressed it open and everything. And as you can see, the fitting is horrendous. Um, I knew it would look like that, so I'm not disappointed. I'm going to lower this and trim up the neckline because the neckline is really holding up the fit here. And the darts are a little bit puffy, so I'm going to take those in. And then once those are done, it looks nice and fitted and we're ready to start on the neckline. So this is kind of the neckline I'm going for. It's not off the shoulders. Um, so it's just like a scoop neck. So I'm going to use that as my reference. So I literally just start cutting in the back and kind of making the shoulders a little bit wider at the neckline. And I took my pen and I'm marking the center of the front and the top of where I want it to meet on the shoulder. And I'm connecting a line between those two so that I can have a smooth line going down to the center front. And now I'm clipping it down to that center front, but I'm not going up the other side. I am actually going to trim the back up first a little bit before I do this next step. And I am going to pull open the bodice. And this is how I mimic the neckline on the other side. So basically you match the back and you put some pins there to secure it and then pin the front to the mannequin also put pins where all the seams are matching seams making sure everything lines up putting pins in the front and then it's ready to be trimmed up once all these pins are in place so now i'm basically just mimicking the same exact thing on the other side and that will make it look more even on both sides so you don't have two different things going on and that is the piece i cut off and open it back up and voila it's all finished and that is how I design my bodices. I have more videos on this dress and how I finish it off, so hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will have lots more information on this dress coming out soon so you won't want to miss it. See you all next time!